20 years ago on this day, Kenneth E. Hagin went home to be with the Lord. He was the minister that brought to the body Christ the message of faith. It's often called the faith movement. His teachings really greatly influenced my life and the life of millions of people around the world, including tens of thousands of ministers. The scripture that God gave him that was going to transform the church was Mark eleven twenty four. This is Jesus speaking. Jesus said, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. See, Kenneth Hagin was a teenage boy dying of three diseases. He had a deformed heart, incurable blood disease, and he was paralyzed. And he knew if there was going to be any hope for him to get better, it's going to have to be God. And so he believed that the Bible was given to him by God, and so he began to read it. When he came across this passage, Mark 11, 24, it hit him. You see, he was always praying for God. God, heal my my deformed heart. But when he could hear it beating bad, he felt like God wasn't listening to him. When he said, God, heal my incurable blood disease that the doctor said, but when he still sees orange in his veins, he knew he wasn't healed. And when he's asking God to heal him of paralysis and he couldn't move his legs hardly or get up and walk, he just felt like God didn't hear his prayers. But this passage showed him something. That is, if he is to get the answers to prayer, he has to believe. He has to believe that he has already received the answer before he can fill it. And this is what Jesus is saying is, you got to believe God's answering your prayer now, even if you have no evidence that he's answering. So when this revelation hit him, Kenneth Hagin said, I get it, Lord. I'm supposed to believe that I can walk even if I can't walk yet. And so right there, he began to thank God. Thank you, Lord, for healing my heart. Thank you for healing my blood. Thank you for enabling me to walk. And right there, he heard the Lord said, get up. In other words, act on his faith. He didn't feel any particular power flowing in him. He just is going to act on his faith. So he grabbed the bedpost and he twisted his body around so that his legs went down uh, on the bottom to the floor. He said at that moment, he felt so much pain in his legs. It was like needles were poking him, but he's acting on his faith. And then he, then with all of his strength, he, he grabbed the bedpost and lifted himself up. And as he got up, all the pain was shooting through his body, but he's acting on his faith. And after a while, he began to take the first step and the second step. Before he knew it, God had healed him. The heart was healed. The blood was healed. And he knew it was because he acted on his faith. The doctors gave him very little hope of any recovery. In fact, they knew of no one in, from medical science that ever got cured of his diseases. Yet God healed him. And from that experience, he began to proclaim to the rest of the world that we got to act on our faith. We have to believe that God is answering even if we can't see it. I'm sharing this story to you because I don't know what you're going through. Maybe you're asking God that he would open the door so you can get married, but you just keep saying over and over again, nobody, there's no good men out there. Nobody wants to date me. I don't know. Well, see, you're not believing, are you? Or if you're praying for health and healing like Kenneth Hagin, you're praying for help, but you say, well, the doctor said I'm not getting any better. I guess I, I'm not going to recover. See, you're going by what you feel rather than believe that you receive. Some of you are praying for finances, but when the money doesn't come in, what do you say? Well, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm beside myself. I just throw up my hands and, and you just like, you're, you're giving up. See, and this, this is what Jesus is teaching in Mark eleven twenty four, is for us not to give up, to stand in faith. Pastor, you got to do that for your church too. Even if you see that there's not a lot of growth. And right now in America, uh, the stats tell us that churches are about 40% less uh, after the COVID virus. I mean, it's crazy, but you cannot go by what you see. You have to say, Lord, I want to thank you. You're adding to the church daily, those that are being saved. I thank you that many people are coming out to hear the word of God. See, what Kenneth Hagin discovered is when we pray, as long as it's praying according to God's will, which is his word, then we ought to believe we got the answer, even if we can't see it. So here's my question to you. Do you believe you got the answer, even though you haven't seen it yet? And when you start to act on your faith and believe you have received it, Jesus said, it will be yours.